And I was really confused. And then I start seeing a lot of police brutality towards people of color, and it just started to upset me. And that was really like, the, even though I didn't experience it too much, the first time you experience something like that, it just kind of sticks with you, and it kind of just makes you think like, what did I do? I didn't do anything. I was just walking, or I was just sleeping, and somehow something a part of me is wrong. How do you think your art project could bring, um, could help you reach people? I feel like the type of art that we do, at most, it would just raise awareness unless we actually like go out and, and literally do something. Like I know that our art can change um, the mindset of people, but the type of art that we do, it's literally like poetry and you know something in a physical form rather than speaking to people. We don't do too much of that. So I always felt like you know raising awareness because a lot of people don't realize you can be very ignorant to certain subjects like that. Sometimes people are just unknowingly racially prejudiced and you know they just don't know so the type of art that we do I feel like it would really help get people to open their eyes and be a lot more open-minded to these type of issues. Thank you so much. Adele. All right. Now a couple of things. You see how the process was? You know she's trying to engage. She may be able to knock somebody knock on someone's door, go to the uh, restaurant the train station and she's gonna deliver this message, okay? At the very beginning, folks may be like, what? What? Like, what are you talking about? And you can get better, okay? Discovering what people want to listen to, how they want to connect with you, okay? You will get better. But I ask you those questions so that you can actually ask your questions yourself when you're talking to people. Last time we talked about this very briefly. I did it sort of like a summary. But in order for us to mobilize, in order for us to have greater spaces in our communities, to have cultural entertainment, uh, to uh, lift up our culture, in order for us to have decent housing, access to water, we need, we cannot do this alone, right? We need to mobilize people. So what we're gonna, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna think about how do we engage? How do we engage those who we want, who we want them to work with us, okay? And one of the tools that organizers use in order to do that is called the story. Why do we use the story? I'm just going to leave that question there and I'm going to read you my story. Okay? I want you to work uh, for a few minutes and I want you to think about the story as your message. Okay? And we're going to work on routine groups. This story it's a story, you know, I convey my story, but I need to turn that story, it's my story, into the story of the people I need to organize. What we call the story of us. Okay? That's the message I'm trying to convey. You need to convey a message in order to attract people to your organizing strategy, your organizing group. Okay?